The helicopter team provided an update this week about recent challenges communicating with Ingenuity, but nothing about why it hasn't flown in more than a month. Is it a communication issue or something worse? On this episode of Mars Guy. Ingenuity was designed to demonstrate helicopter flight on Mars with up to five flights in one month across flat terrain. Two years later, it had achieved 51 flights made in increasingly challenging terrain. Now we're learning that terrain can create what's referred to as communications shadow between Ingenuity and Perseverance, blocking the only link we have to it. That's what happened in early April after Flight 49. Flight 48 was one of the most successful scouting missions yet, providing the rover team with an incredible preview of boulder-strewn ridges. Here's Mars Guy for scale. Flight 49, designed to give the team a preview of the interior of Belva Crater, executed successfully. But on the next SOL, Perseverance drove to a new location entering a communication shadow that resulted in a radio blackout for nearly a week, a new and very unwanted first for the mission. Here's a colorized terrain map with highs shown in red hues and lows in blues. Belva Crater spans about 100 meters from the highest to the lowest points. Flight 49 ended with ingenuity more than 20 meters above Perseverance and nearly 400 meters away, with a boulder-covered ridge in between. Here's an elevation profile showing that terrain. It didn't help when Perseverance pulled up to the ridge to get a closer look, effectively adding a pile of rocks to the line of sight communications path. The situation improved a bit after the next drive on Sol 759, moving Perseverance away from the bouldery ridge. But now the tiny helicopter base station antenna was partially blocked by parts of the rover. And when your radios use less than one watt of power to transmit the 900 megahertz signals, rover parts and Mars terrain create real challenges. Still on Sol 761, nearly a week after the start of radio silence, Perseverance received a radio acknowledgement from Ingenuity signaling that it was okay. The second one in the next Sol added confidence that it really was okay. So when Perseverance finally drove up and onto the elevated terrain within 80 meters of ingenuity on Sol 763, opening up a clear communications path, the helicopter team decided to immediately uplink a flight plan despite the limited knowledge of Ingenuity's situation. That's because the next drive of Perseverance would pass Ingenuity that creates the risk of it being left behind if any challenges preclude a flight, like, say, another communication shadow. All went well with the next flight, number 50, and then number 51, nine sols later, thanks in part to the open communications paths. Ingenuity even managed to capture this color image showing a grainy perseverance working at the edge of Belva Crater. But notice the rocky hill in the foreground with the shadow of ingenuity in a halo of forward scattered sunlight. In a vaguely ironic twist, having just spotted Perseverance, ingenuity landed at the bottom of this hill, blocking the line of sight between the two. The team had planned ingenuity's next flight, number 52, to occur on April 26th. Now, more than a month later, that flight hasn't happened and the latest update from the team provides no explanation. But check out the terrain between Perseverance and Ingenuity. That rocky hill is likely casting a major communication shadow, precluding any radio signals between the two. Maybe that's why the helicopter team detailed a previous radio blackout in their update this week. But the radio silence on the current situation is casting a shadow of doubt on the fate of ingenuity. 